Wonderful good day. It's a Zurich Invest event time here at the Dolder Grand Hotel in Zurich. And we want to talk now with First Mining Finance again. And uh, Patrick Donnelly, the CEO, wants to give us a little bit of an update and what might have changed in the business model, I would call it. Patrick, welcome. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> it's um, almost half a year ago that uh, we were yeah, sitting together on the mining panel and doing mm -hmm. also the interview. And uh, yeah, you have changed slightly the business strategy. Maybe you can elaborate a bit on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh as you're well aware, our, 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 our overall business strategy is to go out and acquire highly undervalued uh, junior mining companies with quality assets. And I'll be honest with you, I'd say since last summer, we've had a change in the markets where we've seen you know, valuations go up, liquidity come back into the markets, and capital come back into the markets. And you know, we were pursuing a few more opportunities. Um, it became very difficult to, 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 to complete those acquisitions given mm -hmm. the valuations we're seeing now. And, and some of the feedback I'm getting is, you know, um, well, if you're not doing deals, what are you doing? <laughs> um, we raised $27 million last summer, and, mm -hmm. and so we had a pretty good uh, treasury going forward. And so we felt, well, maybe it's, maybe it's time to, you know, show the market what we have, show the market that these assets we have are high quality. Mm -hmm. So what happened, what's happened is in November, we approved the $21 million expiration budget. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll include 50,000 meters of drilling. Oh, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot amongst uh, three or four of our assets. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do a couple of resource estimates and we'll do at least one preliminary economic assessment uh, specifically mm -hmm. at Spring Pole. So as of, as of right now, we're, we're drilling at our Goldland project. As you recall, Goldland mm -hmm. has 2.3 million ounces, about a gram and a half. In Northern Ontario, we have three drills there right now turning, and for Golden, we're going to drill 27,000 meters this summer. I mean, mm -hmm. this, sorry, we're going to drill 27,000 meters, mm -hmm. and we'll complete that in the summer, and that should lead to a new resource estimate. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. As you said, you will also do some uh, yeah, PFS work, I would call it, or preliminary uh, yeah. assessments. Uh, could that lead that you are now maybe want to bring some of your properties into production? Well, you know, at, at Spring Pole, we're redoing the PEA. We feel that uh, in the current price environment and, and, and we're it'd be more economic, we're going to make it a lot bigger. You know, it's current, uh, the, the previous PEA had contemplated a uh, 20,000 ton per day operation. We're looking at a, a, probably a 36,000 ton per day operation. Mm -hmm. So it should produce around 300,000 ounces of gold per year. Mm -hmm. it, it's a big boy asset. It has, you know, five and a half million ounces of gold. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that being said, you know, the, the, the strategy, you know, long-term strategy remains the same. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to put these assets into production. The goal mm -hmm. is to de-risk them, you know, do economic studies, drilling, resource estimates, uh, permitting, uh, community relations, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. move them as far as we can. Uh, but that being said, the, the long-term strategy is still uh, entered into agreements with other parties, other companies, private equity, what have you. Mm -hmm. They would move the assets into production. We, and we will hold on to residual interest in the form of royalty mm -hmm. streams, joint ventures, ah, minority interests, or a combination okay. of the above. Okay, fantastic. So how is it uh, these days with those that say higher metal prices? I mean, silver is on the way to the 19, yeah. gold is uh, today 1260. Yeah. Um, have the values of the, let's say, target properties or you, well, properties you are looking at, projects yeah. you are looking at, have they gone significantly up or is there still a chance for you guys to say, oh, well, that's something underwhelming. Uh, you know, that's a great question. And and if you look, you know, the average developer now, you know, they were trading at ten, twenty dollars an ounce just two years ago. Uh, the average now, and these are you know the U.S. dollars. Now we're seeing them at fifty dollars an ounce. Mm -hmm. um, you know, would we pay for that? I, I think it's a little bit high for us. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen some projects at twenty to thirty dollars an ounce. If it's some, you know, there's nothing out there ten dollars an ounce unless it's a real. Mm -hmm. Disaster and, and and with 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 <laughs> yeah. insurmountable uh, challenges and problems. But you yeah. know, if I saw something at twenty thirty dollars an ounce, it's a really compelling asset, mm -hmm. and it was a good jurisdiction, and, and we thought there was a lot of upside. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely, we pull the trigger. Um, the other thing we have been doing, you know, we've been doing some smaller acquisitions, bolt mm -hmm. what I call bolt on acquisitions, mm -hmm. where we we there's you know land. That, that's adjacent to our current uh, properties. Mm -hmm. And if there's land that's got good geologic potential, it's adjacent to our, la our current land and, 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 and adds on to the overall land position, mm -hmm. we'll do small deals like that. So we did that in Quebec. Uh, we purchased an asset there near our, 
uh, Du Parquet property, mm -hmm. and we made it also an acquisition uh, near our uh, Pickle Crow project, where we've added, you know, uh, property. And again, it has to be property that has really good geologic upside. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, as the world is changing, the technical world is changing, renewable energy, etc. I mean, we need a lot of silver, that's for sure. Uh, but also we need like lithium, graphite, cobalt, copper, mm -hmm. etc. Might that be, yeah, lead to a little change in your metal mix? Or are you sticking, let's say, primarily with gold and silver? Is there um, any thoughts about that? That's a great question. You know, when we started this company, you know, the strategy was primarily gold and, and also mm -hmm. exchange tradable metals, so copper, lead, zinc, silver, platinum, palladium, mm -hmm. sulfide, nickel. Um, I'll be quite, I, I'm, I'm very bullish on copper fundamentals. I like copper a lot. So do I. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to have a shortage of copper. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, it's really hard to find good quality copper assets. Mm -hmm. Unless you're, you know, there, there are assets out there that, that are very low grade. You know, the bulk tonnage, low grade, there's some stuff like that out there. But we just haven't seen anything that we really liked. Um, I've looked for zinc acids, but mm -hmm. that's even harder. You know, zinc fundamentals are just incredible right now. We're, we're, we're right now in a shortfall of zinc. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, everybody else in their, in their, in their, in their dog is looking for uh, copper zinc acids. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, you know, when we talk to investors and the markets, the markets prefer companies that are pure plays. Mm -hmm. Pure play metal, metal companies or mining companies tend to always trade at a multiple uh, compared to companies that are diversified by metals. So mm -hmm. um, there's more opportunities out there that are gold and also just the fact that, you know, you, you can't be all things at once. You need to stick to a particular metal. Of course. And then, like I said before, mm -hmm. there's just not many good base metal assets out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Then thank you very much for the update. Yeah, it was absolutely. perfect. And uh, yeah, all the best uh, for the drilling, of course. And thank I'm you. pretty sure you will have some nice news flow. Yeah, we're going to have lots of news flow, <laughs> yes. uh, you know, in the next few weeks. Uh, yeah. At Goldland, like I said, we're drilling 27,000 mm -hmm. meters. And we'll have some uh, press releases coming out that next few weeks. Mm -hmm. We'll also be drilling a camera, another 9,000 meters. Yeah. Uh, Hope Brook and Newfoundland, 5,000 meters. And then the preliminary economic assessment spring poll, we're shooting for probably the middle of the year. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for your time. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Patrick Donnelly, the CEO uh, of First Mining Finance. And you heard it. I mean, he did already the uh, my summary, which is a sensation of 50,000 meters of drilling. Over $20 million are invested in the future for the company. And I think they are doing a great job in assembling all those projects and advancing them. And uh, it's a, a slightly change in the business model. But I like that also because uh, they are adjusting to the market conditions, which shows that the management is very flexible and it's not uh, sticking uh, too close uh, to a let's say one time established uh, business model and that's how it should be so check out the company thanks for watching us bye bye from zurich